The political revolution in Sudan continues as protesters and the military work on a power-sharing deal to replace the ousted President Bashir. Freed from years of oppression, Sudanese artists are already working to update the country's history in a banner three kilometers long. From Khartoum, Rud Elmadop has our story. 40-year-old artist Mohamed Ashraf has been in central Khartoum since December protesting with thousands of Sudanese over fuel and food shortages and the political situation. Just to fall down. Just to fall down. The protesters drove the military to oust President Omar al-Bashir after three decades in power and are now pushing for civilian rule. Ashraf and his fellow artists are creating a three-kilometer-long textile banner to spread that message. Uh, it's uh, to give us the confidence. That place, it's um, peaceful, it's like a, a so soft talk about freedom. And, you know, it's um, entertainment to us, for example, and to impress our vision and our soul. Thousands of artists have worked on the banner, which tells the story of Sudan's present-day revolution and past oppression. They plan to finish within weeks, and if still no civilian rule, raise it at a central protest outside military headquarters. Protesters have refused to leave until the military gives power to a civilian government. But progress in negotiations has raised hopes. Everything looks better now, and I hope a new government will continue in the same spirit. God is great. Sudan has seen popular revolts for democracy in the past that the military put down. Ashraf, however, believes that this time there will be real change. After 30 years, there's one government, <laughs> any change, it's change. <laughs> but it's hard, last uh, period is very hard to us, and we, this little bit of freedom, that what we have now, it gives us power to go through and forward to, to the real freedom, inshallah. As the demonstration continues into the night, Sudan's protesters lift their lights, hoping for a new dawn after three decades of darkness. Ruth Almondar for VOA News, Khartoum.